And now a very different story about families being reunited with their missing kids. A U.S. federal judge is setting tomorrow as the deadline for reuniting all those immigrant children separated from their parents at the southern border weeks ago. Some of the families have been fortunate enough to be reunited early. New York Congressman Adriano Espaillat has been a vocal advocate for these families. He was there when one mother from Guatemala found her children in New York. Again, our Akisa Omulepu has the story. Tears of joy. Yanni Gonzalez is reunited with her children after being detained while trying to cross the U.S.-Mexico border. The Guatemalan immigrant was sent to Arizona, but her children were sent more than 2,000 miles away to New York City. Gave me that my heart is full of joy because I was able to see my children. I hope to God this process moves as quickly as possible because I don't want to ever have to leave their arms again. This is the worst thing that has happened to me in my life, to be separated from my children. U.S. Congressman Adriano Espaya represents a part of New York City. He wants all the children being held around the United States to be reunited with their families more quickly. And he is among those leading the call to abolish ICE, the Immigration and Custom Enforcement. It is a human rights crisis because when you are just uh, splitting uh, children from their families, uh, thousands, hundreds of children, that creates a human rights crisis where the uh, universal rights of these families are being blatantly violated. And that's why we're looking uh, in the bill that has been presented to uh, transition ICE uh, and it will disappear at the end, if passed, it will disappear at the end of the, of the year and there will be a commission that then will take a look at best practices for a new entity to per perhaps come into existence that will be transparent that Congress will, should be able to have oversight of, over and that will adhere to the internationally uh, respected uh, parameters of, with regards to hu uh, human rights. And so we're looking uh, to, to push that particular bill. With more than 3,000 children being detained in prison-like conditions, calls to abolish ICE are getting louder. But President Trump disregards the idea as folly. The new platform of the Democrat Party is to abolish ICE. In other words, they want to abolish immigration enforcement entirely. That's what they want to do. They want, they want everybody coming in. President Trump's rhetoric has fueled concern about the treatment of immigrants trying to enter the United States and the treatment of immigrants already here. Congressman Espaillat says ICE has gotten away from its mandate to investigate trafficking, drugs, and other violent activities. Well, they have wandered away from uh, the bulk of the work, which is to fight, uh, for example, human trafficking, uh, sex trafficking, to fight smugglers, dr uh, drug smugglers, or those people that also smuggle illegal guns across the border. These are the real sort of like violent related activities, illegal activities, that uh, ICE should be focusing their time on not a disproportionately focusing their time to separate a mother from her eight-month baby. So that's what I mean, that they wander off their central uh, goal and objective, and they have engaged in the business of splitting families up. Protesters have even taken to the Statue of Liberty. When they go low, we go high, and I went as high as I could. <laughs> Therese Patricia Okumu scaled Lady Liberty to protest the treatment of children. In a democracy, we do not rip children, we do not put children in cages, period. There is no debating it. You saw that clown yesterday on the Statue of Liberty? You see the guys that went up there? I wouldn't have done it. I would have said, let's get some nets and let's wait till she comes down. Just get some nets. Really, yeah. Congressman Espaillat is encouraged by recent protests and says dissent is critical in a democracy. Well, protest is patriotic. Dissent is patriotic. And that's not just a bumper sticker. It's really patriotic. This country was built on dissent. It was built by a bunch of rabble-rousers that want to 
to uh, 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 branch out from uh, England and say, you know, we, we don't want to be affiliated with that country anymore because there's taxation without representation. So the, the, the spirit of America, in a sense, is dissent. And we've seen in the Supreme Court how dissenting opinions have very often become majority opinion later on down the road. While protests continue, it's unclear when the more than 3,000 children will be reunited with their parents. A federal judge issued a deadline of July 26, but the Trump administration is seeking an extension. Yeni had given her children contact information as they were taken, but the government seized hundreds, even thousands of children without a system for connecting them with their parents. For Arise America, I'm Akisa Omulapu. Coming up, America anxiously waits to find out who will replace retiring Justice Anthony Kennedy at the nation's highest court. We'll have a live report from Washington after this. You're watching Arise America. Every culture, every angle. This is Arise America.